All right, so we have two, two icebergs crated, one by Ed, one crated by Gold Connor. This is the Z Dude, <laughs> the Z Dude Iceberg. I kind of just, I was uh, joking around with this because someone created the, uh, the no context SML account created a, like pretty much a Super Mario Logan iceberg. And then it made me wonder what would a Z Dude iceberg look like? And thus here we are. Go ahead and full screen mode this and we will start at the top of the iceberg and make our way down. We'll start with the Ed version and then we'll go to the Golconda version. How, how does that sound? The Mugs and Mics. Uh, for those that aren't too familiar, that is the podcast that me and a few friends, uh, Nomad, Hack, and GameCube Dude. That's the podcast that we made. We did, I think, a total of 11 or 12 episodes. It was a lot of fun. I look back on that series really fondly. That was a lot of fun to do those uh, podcasts. And I'm slowly kind of getting to the mood where I kind of want to do another podcast, you know? But uh, yeah, we'll just uh, take it one step at a time. I think I'll probably change it to something more along the lines of just kind of like me, just, just talking about what's on top of my head. And it'll probably be more on like a Twitch type thing. But I, I don't know. Because honestly, I don't really want to do a... Uh, like... The part that really kind of ruined, not ruined, but was tough with a podcast, just kind of coordinating with a bunch of uh, people. That's the tough, that's the tough part about it. Trying to coordinate with multiple different people. So yeah, it's just, it's, it's tough to coordinate, tough to kind of get a show down, stuff like that. Yeah, like I said, there's a lot of, uh, like, memes in these, both of these, so we'll just roll with that. <laughs> uh, twitch.tv slash zdude underscore is the... That's the... That's the URL for uh, my uh, Twitch. If you don't know, it's down in the description. <laughs> or if you're watching live right now, you're, you're, you're right there. So, yeah, feel free to give me a follow. That's where I uh, stream. Mama Luigi is a character that I voiced on uh, the ch the hit channel Super Mario Logan or SML. I oh, yeah, has doing hi YouTube. Yeah, this is this is going on YouTube. In case you didn't know, we're doing uh, both of these. I'm double dipping, as it were. <laughs> Mama Luigi was a a character I played on the channel Super Mario Logan or also known nowadays as SML, because he got a cease and desist from Nintendo, which sucks. It, it sucks for him, you know, I, I feel no uh, bad will. Actually, that is Mama Luigi right there. I'm just gonna break the timeline of the iceberg and just deep, dive straight deep. There's Mama Luigi right there. He's a cute little lad. He was a plush. He was, uh, he was a big favorite of a lot of people. And yeah, Z Yoshi Man was the name of my old YouTube channel back in the day. It's, it's basically the same account that is right now. Uh, Z Yoshi Man was my old account name. It was a name I created when I was either 14 or 15. And now within like the past year, I changed it to Z Dude, as you can see right there. And I just felt Z Dude was a better, was just a better name just in general. You know, that, that's just how I felt about it. I felt as if it had a better ring to it, you know. Maybe I was I was also thinking of changing to like Z Dude Zeke like it is on my uh, Twitter, but eh, I don't know. Now we're going one step deeper. D Live with C Jax. This is an account. Uh, D Live is an account that C Jax streams on. Let's let me uh, pull that up real quick. This is his account right here. This is his uh, DLive. We stream on DLive. We do a lot of uh, kind of like co-op streams between the two of them. Right now, at the time of uh, film, uh, filming this, we are uh, recording this. We are doing uh, the Phoenix Wright stream. Uh, DLive is basically Twitch, but jank. Yes, because of the fact it's still early in its development, which, you know, to be fair, 
Hey, there's Link Toon Shadow in Unicycle. I don't know if Unicycle's over here. I will most likely put a uh, link in the description for uh, for his account. So there you go. Check it out down there. Also, follow, yeah, follow uh, CJX uh, DLive. Definitely do that. LMS chat. I am not too familiar with LMS. I'm sorry, I have no clue what LMS is. <laughs> Does anyone have any clues? Chat, do you have any clues what LMS stands for? Let me try to figure out if it has an abbreviation. LMS. Learning management system? I, I doubt that's what we're talking about here. Oh, it probably is a <laughs> SML chat. Okay, so on my Discord server, the ZDU public Discord server, there was a Super Mario Logan chat that would cause so many issues. We've actually, the Discord channel, the Discord, the, pu the public Discord server, this is the second one of its uh, existence. The first one just got overran with like toxic behavior. So I just said, you know what? Screw it. I was in, I was in the middle of, uh, I was in the middle of uh, college, didn't really want to deal with it. So I just kind of like, you know what? I'm done with it, delete it. Then I brought it back and I've had an SML chat and then I deleted it. And then other people kind of wanted more SML chat. <laughs> And it just was like, at one point I kept on like, you know what, it's fair. A lot of people in the server know me for SML. So I will put it in the chat. And then Logan just started getting more and more kind of like haters, I would say. It was probably the best way. The, the I got caught in the crosshair. So <laughs> this is what happened. Multiple times, uh, whenever there was a problem with Logan, Two groups will pop up. I would call them the old fans and the new fans. The old fans are all the fans that wa used to watch SML, I would say probably before the Jaffy Puppet came into play. And uh, the old fans would try to use me as like a, uh, like, oh, you, you, uh, you used to be part of SML. You need to help us try to make Logan better. And I would be like, you know, I don't care. I just don't care. <laughs> While the new fans saw me as like, oh, he he was Jeffy before Jeffy, and he was that Mama Luigi character, I guess. And they got all upset with me because I I wasn't the biggest fan of Jeffy or how Jeffy fans were reacting, so they were targeting me. So I got in caught in the crosshairs between both of them, their squabble. I refused to take a side. So of course that means I am an enemy if I'm not on their side, which just sucks. So I've completely cut the tie uh, ties to uh, that chat. That chat's no more anymore. And I'm just going to be uh, done. I, I'm done. I mean, I still talk with uh, talk about SML. It's allowed in my server as long as it discussion is. Uh, is civil about it. Yeah, I'm glad I left that sinking ship. It just, it just sucks. Uh, let's move on to updates featuring giant head. <laughs> okay, this one was funny. Okay, so let's take a trip down memory lane. There it is. Update featuring a giant head. It was released three years ago, which is insane. Oh. It was released three years ago when I decided to restart and kick off my uh, YouTube channel again. This was after I, it was about, when was it released? July 1st? So that's May, June. Like, okay, so I went to uh, Florida to film with uh, Logan, May of 2017. I came back in June, I had some time off still. I decided, you know what? I wanna do some, I wanna do YouTube again and decided, let me do some YouTube. <laughs> and so that was the update.
featuring a game with a giant head. I forgot the name of that game. But I thought, you know what, let me just film this uh, giant head. It'll be funny, and we'll do an update. <laughs> and that's update featuring a giant head. Discord talk show. That was a live stream, experimental live stream that I did with uh, actually GameCube dude of all things, where I wanted to mimic a kind of talk show where I brought in, like I went into my Discord server and I would cycle through people in five minute intervals and had them talk about uh, various different things. It didn't work exactly the way I expected because it's kind of tough to kind of uh, direct people to give like some sort of like conversation point. And instead it was just people uh, like taking the five minute opportunity just to kind of uh, like ask Luke or GameCube dude about stuff, you know? <laughs> However, that was probably the first time, I think that was the first time I ever talked with DMAD though. So yeah, that was the first time I ever talked with uh, DMAD. Like actually, I think I've ever heard his voice. So that, that was fun. But no, I've always thought that stream had audio delay from what I heard. Oh really? Was it really that audio delayed? Yeah, that was back when I had no clue what I was doing. While now I kind of have a little clue. <laughs> yeah, that's, I did uh, the Discord talk show. A lot of people have asked if I ever will ever do it again and yeah, and, uh, oh, it was the first time talking with you, uh, Gokar, as well? Oh, that's insane. Yeah, it was a lot of time. That's how I kind of first got in touch with a lot of people that are still kind of here. It didn't work out that well, and if I ever did that again, it would be, uh, you know, honestly, I don't know if I would ever do it again. It was kind of disorganized, because honestly, I heard, I, I saw the, I got the idea there was this uh, podcast that I listened to. And this was during my like hiatus that uh, they would do a podcast where they would bring people in on Skype and have them talk for about like five to 10 minutes. But the fan base would come in and uh, talk about a discussion. And when they came in, they would talk about, hey, have you heard about, let's just say, uh, like the new Pokemon game. And they will have a, they will, they will talk about Pokemon for that little five to 10 minute segment. And then after their segment was done, they would kick them out and then bring the next person in. And it was all cool like that. that that's, that's how I thought of it. If I'd ever do it again, it would probably be way more organized. <laughs> all right. I think you should do it again, but with the supporter discord server, maybe, maybe. All right, so we're going a little deeper now. Toad's Lunch. All right, Toad's Lunch was my first ever sprite animation. Oh, if my mouse can actually work. We'll go ahead and get a little further down. My first ever sprite movie. Do not watch this. It's... Oh, it is absolute shit. <laughs> but Logan actually uh, reviewed it. <laughs> he actually, he really liked it. So the story behind Toad's Lunch, it actually has a pretty good story. It's the first video I ever did. 12 years ago, Logan found this uh, animation program called Pivot 3 Beta. It's right there. I don't know if it's still around or not. But uh, what Logan, Logan found Pivot 3 Beta and uh, he was kind of teaching me how to animate stuff like that. And he's, he told me he was going on a vacation and he said, you know what, Zeke, if you can do a animation and if I'll, I'll watch it, if it's like a, if I score it higher than like a seven out of 10, I'll put it on my channel. I'm like, okay, cool. So I started working with, uh, I started working on it and I finished the video. And I was a good boy during that time. I was like 14, like I said, and I didn't really create any social media accounts unless I had my parents' permission. And my dad, I told my dad about the whole situation and he said, why don't you just create your own YouTube channel and post it? I'm like, you know what? 
that's a really good idea. <laughs> so I went ahead and created my own channel, created the Z Yoshi Man account and posted the video. And it has 9.8 thousand views, which is insane. How many is it exactly? 9861, holy crap. It was, it was insane. It was uh, voiced by my brother, myself, and my sister. You know what? Let's, let's watch it. You know, let, let's, let's go ahead and watch it. It, it, it will suck, Dunkin but... Cold Brew with the perfect top of sweet cold foam for a velvet... I am watching my own ads. Hopefully YouTube doesn't get mad at me. <laughs> let's watch it. Toad's Lunch. I asked Logan after the fact... Oh, top comment is from Logan himself. I asked Logan after the fact what he would have rated it. He said he would have given a 7.5. So it would have been in my, it would have been in the SML channel. But oh well, it's on my own channel. So there we go. Let's watch it. Okay, that was it. <laughs> yeah, I saw you did comment. So let's check Travis's comment. The best thing I've ever seen in my life. Truly the begging of Z, dude. Truly. Truly. Make a sequel. No. <laughs> I mean, I guess. I don't know. So yeah, that was my first ever video was Toad's Lunch. That's... It, it sucked. <laughs> it truly, it truly sucked. Don't watch it. <laughs> Please don't watch it. I'm probably going to cut that out of uh, the video itself. Please don't watch it. <laughs> but now that I'm saying don't watch it, you're gonna watch it anyway. So if you if you did watch it from this video, comment on the video and put iceberg. Yeah, how about that? If you did watch the video, if you did watch Toad's Lunch, prove it by putting iceberg in the comment section. How about that? <laughs> we'll do that. Hide and Zeke was a Play on words that was, I think, created by uh, Nomad. And Nomad decided he is like, you should name a uh, stream Hide and Zeke. And I said, you know what? I should. And I did create a, a stream of it. <laughs> and that's all I had to say about that. Uh, the Mugs and Mike's server. Mugs and Mike's server was a server created for the Mugs and Mike's podcast. It was a server that we shut down after we uh, canceled the Mugs and Mics podcast. A lot of a lot of good things uh, came from that server, but at the same time, it was pretty much like the like the Z Yoshi Man server 2.0. It, I mean, most of the people who were on that server kind of just migrated over to my server, so not a lot of things. Nothing too crazy. I don't remember anything in particular about that server. I don't even No, I think we did record on that server itself. I don't think we did a separate account thing, if that makes sense. Or like uh, like a separate call. I think we did all of our recordings on that server. So yeah, but it was basically just my own server, but different. I think uh, Hack really, he really loves making Discord servers, so I think he created everything about that server. So, yeah. Mama Luigi Adventures was a interesting, interesting thing. Okay, let's go ahead and see. This was another sprite animation. Right there. This It was a failed pilot. <laughs> <laughs> where I would try to create an animated series for Mama Luigi. And in this, I'm not going to let you watch that. That it just it's cursed. In it, it was all about Mama Luigi escaping from heaven because he found out that Mario was uh, still alive and he wanted to uh, get back to me. <laughs> So he jumped out of heaven and skydived into the state of Colorado. That was it. It was supposed to be kind of like a pilot kind of a... I think what I wanted to do was kind of like have it be like Mama Luigi traveling the world. 
I didn't really know what I was doing. And uh, I created it, and then I kind of just fell out of love of doing animation at that point. So it just like, and I didn't really feel like I did Monolith's voice any service. And also I felt I didn't want to be like always known as that character. And I felt as if people, <laughs> I always kind of thought like if someone were to watch that with no context, they'll be like, what the hell? What is Mama Luigi? Is that like the meme? You know, not, not everyone knows what <laughs> SML is. <laughs> so yeah, Russian Zeke is one of my favorite things ever. So let's, uh, let's show this. I can't play the audio. So this was a troll. <laughs> from SML Archive, SML Archive uh, post reposted this. This wasn't from the original thing. I can't play it because I believe it is copyrighted. Basically, it's a Russian boy band. <laughs> it was a Russian boy band. Uh, I had the lyrics. Do I still have the lyrics? No, I think I deleted the lyrics a while ago. Basically, it's a Russian boy band, but the whole meme was it looked like us. They were saying the guy in green kind of looks like Logan. And they're saying that's me, which I don't even see how that could be me. This one kind of, this guy kind of looks like Logan a little bit, but yeah, we kind of made that just the joke that uh, Russian Zeke is my Russian counterpart. <laughs> and even I brought that up with uh, Logan as well that, oh uh, yeah, remember when someone did that uh, Russian video thing, try to troll with us? Yeah, that, that was funny. Funny stuff, Magma Castle which is something I really need to do a remake of. This is actually my highest viewed video. If you do sort by most popular, it's still the most popular, but for how long? Oh no. Basically, this was a level that I created with a flash game called uh, Super Mario Flash. <laughs> It's Super Mario Flash. It's a uh, level created through there called Magma Castle. And back in the day, this was 2009. We didn't have a lot of Mario Maker type things. Mario Maker itself was such a big, uh, big thing. And uh, yeah, this was, yeah, YouTube, this is totally Mario Bros. Yeah, it says it's Mario Bros. Yeah, that, that's funny. Uh, but yeah, it's it. I can't really say too much about it. I believe Gamer91 did a remake of it, but I should probably do a re remake and like repost it, you know, on uh, Mario Maker 2 one of these days. Maybe, maybe not a one to one remake because the game had a, like the Flash program had a lot of uh, restrictions. But yeah, that's probably something I should check out. All right, we're going even deeper. I got tagged. A lot of people were asking about this. Back on the old YouTube, there was a uh, kind of like a meme referred to as tagging. And what the whole premise is, is pretty much like a chain email. You get tagged and you have to give five fun facts about yourself. And then after you're done, you have to tag five more people. Just like a chain uh, email. And I got tagged and I created uh, five fun facts about myself. And I think one of them was like, I was a, I'm a black belt in Taekwondo. I won a uh, smash tournament in my, uh, like not a real smash tournament, but in my lock-in. So yeah, I got tagged. <laughs> That's. It's not as a scary, everyone's like wondering, what does that mean? What does it mean? It means absolutely nothing. Not, not nothing at all. Sports Center. <laughs> this was a video. Uh, 
I credit for a school project. Uh, let's go ahead and just keep it right there. I created for a school project and I posted it on YouTube because we had to place it somewhere. Uh, after I placed the video, I unlisted it for a long time because I didn't really want a lot of people to know what I looked like. And then after a while, I was kind of like looking through it and like, oh, I forgot I had this video. Let me un let me remove it. <laughs> let me un unlist it. And yeah. The uh, Sports Center. Uh, fun fact: the No Context Zeke account has a uh, clip from that. The I want to thank my Lord and Savior uh, Tim Tebow. Put it in perspective, Tim Tebow was uh, all the rage back in uh, Denver during the time. Uh, the Sexy Room. <laughs> that was a voice chat created by Macau on my first Discord server. <laughs> Just like that. That's pretty much all there is to it. Uh, yeah. Nomads Literature Club, I believe it was the same deal, but in the... In the Mugs and Mike server, I believe. Uh, Zeke <laughs> Alright, let, let's show Zeke Zeke for those that don't know, is my female version of uh, my... Uh, of my avatar. There she is. I refer to her as Zelda. I refer to her as Zelda. She is, she was created by Funky Thor, who also creates a couple of my uh, thumbnails. You should really follow him on Twitter. He has really good art, <laughs> real, real good stuff. But yeah, he just decided he wanted to make a female version of me and CJax. And yeah, so this is uh, the, this is the thing he created. <laughs> yeah, that's basically it. I uh, don't know why it's so deep in the iceberg, but I'm pretty sure not a lot of people know about it. So makes sense. Yeah, this is a Z-Ket, a.k.a. Zelda. So if you ever see someone refer to a z -Ket, you looked it up and I can't, I couldn't find rule 34 of z -Ket. There is one cursed, not really cursed. It's more kind of a... Uh, fetishized uh, some, uh, thing of uh, Zelda. Here's a fan art of Zelda from a uh, artist named uh, Kuwane, I believe his name is. Let me let me look it up real quick. Shouldn't take too long. Uh, Kumi. He created <laughs> this cute little uh, Zelda in a, a peeking out of a uh, Yoshi egg. I also, yeah, his uh, Twitter is right here. Let me just post the Twitter, why not? There's the Twitter of uh, the person that created that uh, account, uh, that uh, picture. Great stuff. Uh, and then Co-op was, uh, there's, it was a popular rage game back in, I think, 2010, 2011, and I decided to do a Let's Play of it, but instead of me, I was doing it as uh, Mama Luigi. <laughs> oh, I forgot the Rule 34 of uh, Zeket. You can find it. There is one not safe for work picture of Zeket somewhere. That, that's all I'm going to say. Uh, but like I was saying, co-op. Uh, Kawap was a Let's Play created by Mama Luigi on my channel. And yeah, the video's still up there. You could look it up right here. Let's uh, pull it up. You'll probably recognize it just like uh, with that right there. 3,000 views 10 years ago, so it was uh, 2011. So I was close with the time frame. And then finally, the deep part. Is there rule 34 of Mom Luigi? I would like not, I would not like to imagine that. Old server was uh, something I uh, talked about uh, prior, but the the first, oh no, 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 there was three. There was three Discord servers. The one that's currently here, the one that is, uh, that was created and then deleted, but then there was a, there was a first one 
So a while back, before I even knew what Discord was, I created a Discord account so that I can join the SML Wiki's Discord server. And uh, <laughs> I created the uh, I created an account so I can join in. And Macau, that's where I met Macau. And Macau, uh, like I, I was talking with them, I kind of became friends with uh, Macau. And I got, I met up with another guy. I forgot dude's name, but he created me a server, like a fan server. And I'm like, oh, cool, thank you. So I kind of like posted the link for those that wanted to join in. We found out that dude was kind of uh, weird. And I don't remember his name. I'm pretty sure Macau remembers his name, but dude was really weird. <laughs> so we deleted that server and I created my own. So I was the one in charge. See Yoshi Man Jr. I believe that's a meme. I'm not too sure what that one was. That's one all about. Twitch.tv slash Z Yoshi Man was a Twitch account that I created, but I I guess I lost. I don't know where it is. And yeah, it, it's just gone. And Luke's Gay Sex Dungeon, I think that was created by uh, Macau. Because Macau's uh, real name is Luke. And let's check out the new the new one. Uh, the this one, okay, th that one was created by uh, Ed, and I do see everyone talking about Rule Thirty Four and stuff like that. Uh, if you want to create Rule Thirty Four of Zelda, go right ahead, I guess. <laughs> Just don't get weird about it. Don't go all, uh, don't go all dream stands with it, okay? <laughs> please, please, okay. Thank you, Ed, for that one. Let's check out this one created by uh, Gold Connor. I think a lot of them is uh, pretty much the same. A lot more jokes in this one. Uh, Zeke is a great streamer. Bullshit. <laughs> Zeke is a furry. <laughs> that one was a joke created pretty much by the No Context account by C Dub. He took a out of context uh, point where he, I said in a uh, Mario Maker stream where I got turned into a uh, cat, uh, like a cat suit Mario, and I said, Oh no, Bowser turned me into a furry. And now everyone says I am a furry. <laughs> uh, Zeke says Shoosh. You might know Shoosh. I'll go ahead and post that uh, emote. Go ahead, if you have the shoosh emotes, post it now. Those that don't know, <laughs> shoosh was uh, created because uh, DMAD's sister sent him a clip from a weird puppet show. And we got it, we just started losing it when they said shoosh. We loved it so much, we thought it was so stupid that we just took it by, uh, we took Twitter by storm and started posting shoosh everywhere. If you remember correctly, there was a time on Twitter, like for the past 12 hours, there was nothing other than shoosh being posted by me, CJax, DMAD, and Jetboy. I think Star and Nomad were also a part of it too. And this was of course back when CJax was still on uh, Twitter. But yeah, we posted Shush everywhere, and we kind of forced it on everyone to become a meme. We kind of forced the meme, which just don't do that, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's uh, Toad's Lunch. We talked about that one. Zeke simps for uh, Rosalina. Do I really need to explain that? <laughs> just watch the 100%ing all the 3D Marios, and you could see all the counts that I have uh, simped over uh, Rosalina. Yeah, it's fun times. Uh, and then Zeke married a pile of bricks. How do you know? Zeke commits tax fraud. I think that's the joke right there. Uh, that's just a joke one. The Lake Toon Zeke banner theory. Uh, I believe, it, is it the current one? I don't remember. No, this was created by uh, someone else. Link Toon, I think you created me a banner. Yeah, I made a banner. Yeah, it was the, the chill lizard. Let me put up the chill lizard. And this was my uh, my banner. I think it's still my banner on uh, 
YouTube as well, but I'm not too sure. But yeah, he created me this awesome uh, Chill Lizard, and then also the Chill Lizard uh, starting soon. I added the stream starting soon, thanks to the art Link Tune. Link Tune created this amazing art with the animated uh, rain, and it's just, it's beautiful. This is such a beautiful picture. He did such a great job. All, everything goes to Link Tune. All credit goes to him. He did great stuff. And you might see it from my uh, stuff from time to time, if you pay attention to my streams. Uh, the uncut season finale of Z-Dude? I made a joke when I made the jump from uh, YouTube uh, streaming to Twitch streaming that uh, it's not like it's going to be changing. Nothing's going to change. It's just more like a, uh, like, it's the end of one season and going to another season. That's how I see it. We're just in season two of uh, Z-Dude. It's just taking little... It's just, we're doing fine. It's basically the same thing. What, what, what did I tell you? <clears throat> Zeke is a VTuber theory. <laughs> the season one lasted a little too long. <laughs> season one lasted a little too long, and... I don't know. Uh, let me let me talk about uh like I've always kind of uh I I don't know. I've I've stayed in most ponds. I feel as if Twitch is just a good is a good place to stream. Because I feel as if if you're looking for streamed content, you go on to Twitch. And if you are looking for video content, on demand video content, you go on YouTube. So I think it's just a better way to separate the two things. Also, I think it's always a good idea if you're making content to have multiple different, like different places for it, just in case one gets kind of, that they both get popular on them, you know, you have a fallback. So if something were to happen on Twitch, let's just say Twitch had a problem with me saying uh, simp one too many times on this, serve, on this uh, stream. I'm not making fun of anyone by calling it, so I don't think I'm gonna be in trouble. But if Twitch decides, they just decide, no, no more, uh, no more Z dude on Twitch, I could just easily move back to, uh, I could just easily move back to, uh, YouTube and just start streaming there. So yeah, I just feel as if it's, it's good for you. It, it's good for everyone, you know. <laughs> and yeah. Was there anything else I need to uh, say? I mean, I think... I think everyone's having fun on uh, Twitch. It seems everyone is. Or OnlyFans. <laughs> Why not stream on DLive? I don't like DLive as a, pro as a uh, platform. I don't think it's uh, stable enough. And it has its own issues. I just think Twitch is just, it has better availability of people. I know searchability is uh, not as good. But there's just more people watching stuff on Twitch. Uh, so yeah. Uh, I think that's the best way. Yes, yeah, season three would be back on YouTube if that ever happened. Hopefully season three won't have to happen. Uh, what else? The Zelda theory. We've already talked about uh, Zelda or Zeket. Nobody put on the iceberg that PewDiePie was subbed to the Twitch channel. I think that happened after these were created. Uh, okay, so let's move down another level. Z Dude was Z Yoshi Man. We talked about that one. Zeke the lovable guy and C Jax the grumpy weed boy. <laughs> that was a comment created by a Funky Thor that made me laugh so hard. <laughs> He wanted to say that CJX was the grumpy, grumpy weeb boy, even though CJX isn't really a big weeb, but it just makes me laugh that it's like CJX is the grumpy weeb boy. It just makes me laugh so much. <laughs> uh, Zeke is a sentient tomato. Okay. Zeke abs accidentally calls a Rosalina simping cult. <laughs> no, it was more like, uh, I just, 
kind of uh, was speaking the truth about how I felt about uh, Rosalina, and I think uh, we have a lot of like-minded individuals also in the in the chats. <laughs> uh, so yeah, kind of like SpongeBob and Squidward. Yeah, I think that's why me and CJX work pretty well. No, Zeke is the leader of the group. <laughs> I am the leader of the Rosalina Simping Cult. Okay, fair enough. Uh, Gold Connor Zeke memes are based on true events. Uh, yes, it is. Yeah, I know. I feel as if we are opposite, so it is the perfect match where uh, CJX is more uh, serious, and I'm more kind of goofy. I kind of say whatever, just do whatever, just to kind of mess around, you know? I'm all about having a good time. Well, C. Jax, he, he likes to have a good time, but he likes to have a... Uh, he likes to have a... Uh, he wants a more kind of professional thing. Nothing too bad. Imagine if D-Mad joined to make a trio. I mean, D-Mad pops into our streams, and he, he does pretty... I think we... <laughs> me and D-Mad kind of have the same kind of uh, cursed horny energy if that's a, if that's if that's a thing <laughs> but he's not as uh, cursed as me okay we're moving uh, continue on zeke trade his soul for bits on for rosalina's stream no zeke and jet boy are cousins and nope zeke moved to twitch to get more twitch followers so rosalina can notice him on twitch streams that'd be pretty cool Oh, uh, Zeke simps for Shadow the Hedgehog. Uh, didn't I say that in like the Shadow the Hedgehog uh, stream? I think I said that in like a Shadow the Hedgehog stream as like a joke. It was like Ow the Edge or something like that. It's also on the No Context uh, Z Dude uh, Twitter account. <clears throat> All right, Zeke is secretly a Yoshi in disguise. Not anymore. Uh, Zeke is an alien? Nope. Zeke is, re is Mama Luigi reincarnated. Zdude.exe? That would be funny. If anyone wants to create a Zdude.exe, I would so read that for like a Halloween stream or something. Z, the goofy nerd we love. Cjax, the serious cool fire. Dmad, the crazy and goofy king of cat girls. Well, fair enough. Uh, the Jet Boy and Lady Chan. Operation? Not too sure what that means. The Zeke search history. <laughs> uh, yeah, there is. I do have a uh, search history. You probably don't want to see it. <laughs> I do have a not safe for work uh, Twitter account, but that exists out there. Yeah. Uh, Zeke is DMAD's father. No. <laughs> Zeke wants to eat at Wendy's. Wendy's is Wendy's is pretty good uh, food. Maybe for one stream. Uh, Zeke is Sans. Nope. Zeke is the man behind the slaughter, and every video of Z Dude is personalized. Well, yeah, of course. Even this one. And you've made it to the end of this. Uh, your personalized version of the Z Dude iceberg. If you enjoyed, please pre press the smash that like button. <laughs> 